Well, we saw this game was going for at least uh, 17 minutes. So let's see if we can see a nice India upset here. Kevin seems to think this guy is Skirmy. Where was Skirmy from then? Are all DSC accounts the same person? Yep. Unfortunately, yes. Okay, what we've got here then? It's, uh, no livestock map, so no uh, extra kind of bonus for India. So decided to scout the left side of the map. Interesting. He's going to find an 85 coin treasure, which is pretty good, but coin isn't great to start with. He, oh, no, he'll find 85 XP, which is definitely what he wants to prioritize. India have quite a slow XP curve, so getting a nice bonus there will help. Just as long as this guy doesn't walk to the left side of the map, which doesn't look like he is. Where's that going to go second? No. Okay, fantastic. Do you have House of Vaza on this map? So could see some uh, Hanseatic League Torps in play here. Look at these guys. So rabid. Do so much damage. You do not... Look, look it's over half HP. And he's, this is the uh, USA Explorer, which has 100 more HP than a normal Explorer. Look how much HP he just lost there. Those War Dogs are rabid. You 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 have to you have to micro them. This is rank one, losing that much HP. To be honest, these elephants could take it. Could take it now. Yeah, you got you you have to kite those war dogs. They are so savage. <laughs> Okay, now it's India's turn to pick up a nice treasure. So he's gone, he got the um, XP, was it 85 XP, I believe? And now he's going to be picking up uh, 80 food. That's good. Kills those witch hunters. I love, like, the paint job on those elephants. Look at that blue and yellow. Look at the, just look at the detailed, the attention to detail on the elephant's heads there. How cool is that? How cool is that? So look at the decks. We see capitalism as the first card. Likely, we might see we might see Dutch immigrants, but likely we'll see the church card, Pennsylvania into seven hundred coin. Okay, eighty-five coin. What is that word? D. Brinbrufot. Holy, holy crap, that might be the hardest word I've ever had to pronounce in my life. Oh, that's a good one. 90 word, he's going to be picking up that for free. All right, let's have a look, see what's going on. So he's going up with the Agrifort. Um, uh, quite a defensive Agrifort. It's quite a nice placement, uh, considering this is, you know, there's going to be a lot of traffic going through here. Um, and he's kind of cutting off a lot of this natural wallage. From the TP and, and tree line. TP going down for Revnak. Let's have a look at India. Let's have a look at his deck now. So this is a guy that we did see uh, do the FI. So maybe we could see that again. If we saw that again, I would, I would be creaming. I will be creaming. I might already be a little bit, but that's not for here. We saw last the gate the last time we saw this guy, we saw Indian gunpowder. We even I think we even saw this uh, Sivajis, Shivaj, Shivaji, Shivaji tactics. Um, so yeah, so who knows who knows what we'll see from this guy? <laughs> oh wow, we do see an early house of Vaza going down. Like I said, it's it's a fan favorite all because of that beauty that four torps rather than spend 400 wood on houses why not spend you know an extra less hundred uh, wood well it's about it, well, okay so it's 400 wood because the extra hundred wood is in the trading post so it's the same amount of wood but another 350 food you spend those resources 
the same amount of pop you get out of it, but you also get four torps. So it's basically an extra four villagers if you put them on gold. Oh, he's putting them on wood. Someone stop this madman. You can't be doing that. Who does he think he is? Okay, I think he's going to go over to the far gold mine over here, which I respect because obviously he's, he wants to keep both uh, both these gold mines kind of um, free, untouched. So uh, he's got a full coin, uh, coin mine or tin mine, so it's not that, that great, but it'll do. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. That's a fantastic top. If ever there was a top, that is a top right there. 0.25 on wood. He will take that particularly because he's India. That's half a villager. That's half a villager on wood. So that, like Moonshine said, that 100% makes total sense. Um, now he does have three on gold as well. Absolutely fantastic top there. 0.25 wood and 0.3 food. So basically a villager. These are basically villagers as well. Quite slow gathering villagers, but still villagers at the end of the day. So we see the diplomatic intrigue coming in next. So he's gone for um, distributivism, foreign logging, and diplomatic intrigue whilst the consulate is going up. So this is a nice timing here. He hasn't made any units yet, so he's been super greedy. He's gone for that Hanseatically. So he's just setting up shop, just chilling, getting his eco going. Consulate is down. What is he going to decide to get here? He's not making any units. Um, okay, he's going for Ottoman allies. Okay. It's a lot of food, though. And already, USA is in Fortress Age. Here comes the Pennsylvania Cavalry, which is definitely a bugged what is tech right now because it should cost coin instead of food. I'm but of ready. course, Revnak is abusing that bug, just like he did with Italy, pretty much every other civilization that has bugs beautiful stomp there he's doing his classic build order right now unfortunately those heroes are going to go down and we see here he did go for the philadelphia convention get the pennsylvania techs uh 700 gold like we said so quite predictable gurk is coming out okay you don't want to be fighting age two gurkha versus uh sharpshooters down come the blockhouses. Look at this macro. Just everyone on food right now. Super, super easy build order. Really, really need to sort out that bug with the uh, veteran carbine cavalry. I think it's fair to say that the uh, the blockhouse card needs to be nerfed as well. Um, it, whether it only sends one blockhouse or it it you know um, weakens the amount of extra hunted you know the percentage 30 percent that gets weakened down to about 20 percent or 10 percent but that's uh, another day for another discussion and look how aggressive is allowed to be here and that's because we'll call this guy skirmy wormy for now it's because he's been super greedy with his build and look at this the free gatling's coming in perfect timing no walkabout look at that straight to here and it's eight minutes 30 and he's got a fantastic eco lots of cards 13 goons behind all of this. What can India pull out the bag here? He's macroing to age. The only problem is firing against these Gatlings. I mean, he, he already has a church, right? So all he needs to do is get a, a monk healer, whatever it is they get. And that'll be healed up. And then, you know, the Agra Fort, all of that all of that damage it did will be all for nothing. He is going up to age three with the Taj Mahal. More skirms coming out. His hero gets up. More Gatlings. Going hard on the Gatlings. That is, that is risky versus India. I mean, he's he still sees he's an age two. But it is very risky to push lots of artillery. Like, yes, get get a, get your first card artillery in, like the two Falconettes, three Gatlings, and then try and push and really do as much damage as possible. But India just need a little bit of time. And once they get into that age three, bang. First card, you just know 
Oh, two villagers go down. And now he can't get this aged up quickly. And oh my goodness me. This this just looks dire already. Oh, but the Ottoman camp coming in. Oh, and the Miniman clip. Let's fucking go, baby. That Delhi just before it dies. Takes down that Gatling gun with it. You're saying you're coming to hell with me, baby. Ceasefire called instantly. He's going to protect those three villagers there. Which are going to um, just end up chopping and dying anyway. <laughs> you got to love that. Even though the ceasefire has been called, the TC fire continues. <laughs> Two howders coming in. Howder. Ceasefire has ended. Skirmy wants to go for that skirm goon comp himself. He's on 31 villagers. He's lost a fair view villagers. Uh, probably at least five. Oh, God. More dying. Probably more like six or seven villagers gone down. But how does do come out? How does do come out? Gatling gun only tickles these elephants. These elephants don't care about bullets, apparently. But there's a lot of skirms here still. There's still a lot of goons as well. I'm not really sure what India can do here. All these howders do not know what they're doing. Always meleeing with howders. Don't really want to be doing that. Oh, more villagers going down. That's 5k score. He's just shipped how many? What is your command? Just shipped nine. Nine of these guys. How do oh, okay, he's made a couple and or maybe that's he's just made a load. But because you can do that with uh, this build order. Who needs wood? Well, I'll tell you what, that was a really nice pop with the uh, the Delhi. Advanced artillery coming in now. Just eight, an extra eight skirms coming in at the back of this. You score Stan. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let any surprises come. We won't look at India. Just, just to double check if there's any uh, fun surprises. Has a couple of howders. So he's made a couple of howders. That's nice. So the skirmishes are going to be running over there. So not a lot he can do over there. Still got his torps uh, booming away. Oh, let's go, Yurumi. You ruin me. You and me. You ruin me. Let's go. Nice. How does it going to find the mortar? That's all, basically a waste of a shipment if you can take that down. And the villagers are going for it as well. He's going to lose. He's going to sacrifice all his villagers. He does take down the mortar, but at what cost? There's so many skirmishes here. I think the Yurumi were... Yeah, the Yurumi are going to... The Yurumi are going to clean up. You and me, Yurumi. They ruined me. Ah, if he could just keep these howders alive, that would be really nice. He's trying his heart out. He, he keeps one alive. Don't forget the India heroes. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let Minutemen rock up. 5.5 speed. Yeah, heroes can heal units. Quite slowly, but still, that's a very expensive unit. You do not want to lose it if you can help it. I'm Goon's ready. diving in. He's definitely going to want to find that. He's going to be searching for it. A barracks going down. He's got some Yurumi back. That's nice. What's he looking for? He's searching for that howder. He is searching for that howder. Nice. He's, he's, he's looking. He's just checking around. Nice. Okay, Gurkha coming in. But look at this remass from USA already. Thirty-three bills for USA, but plus lots of trickles, plus thirty percent for herds. Take down that barracks. Oh no! Don't show that howder. Okay, as that's coming in, that's uh, that's nice. But that howders, he's gonna find out about that howder. Nice. Azaps can do some good damage against the goons. Uh, that howder's staying alive longer than it deserved to be there. 
I think we had some Gurkha that aren't in the fight. Oh, hello, boys. Yes, lads. Show us what you got. Get your gherkin that you have. He's just giving Red Knight. He's thinking, you know, he needs all the help he can get. Maybe there's a slim chance. Maybe there's a chance. But it's a slim one, and we're just double racks in. Veteran sharpshitters like it's nothing. And still no one on wood because we don't need any of that. Thirty-four villages. It's not as bad as I thought. This this is still doable. As long as he doesn't use any, any units here, he's on two mahouts coming. Two mahouts coming. That's not a lot of goons. That is not a lot of goons. I like between all of this, he's still been uh, he's been using that big button. I think is that is that level? Oh no, he hasn't used the uh, the Vaza big button yet. Haha. <laughs> And now, look, we see him heading towards the north of the map for that trap. And boom, in comes two disciplined Mahus with over 1,000 HP each. See you later, sharp shitters. See you later. He, d he doesn't want to lose one, though. He really does not want to lose one. So kill those goons ASAP. Do not take that back. Do not lose that. Do not lose that. Scare me. Do not lose it. Ah. Too easy, too easy. Be pulling that out of back as well. He does, but he does it too late. This man really is giving Revnak a chance to win this. But he cleans up. I always say this about. I always say this about India. India's units are fu up. They're fucking insane. Yurumi now kept him in the game. The Mahouts kept him in the game. The two Howders kept him in the game. Every single shipment has been OP. The Delhi, uh, sorry, the Ottoman consulate as well. Woohoo! With that Delhi and the Gatling, damn. That 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 was M MVP. If he wins, if he wins this, that was a that was the MVP right there. Another TC going down the fucking cheek of it. Now that is confidence, and I like it. But oh, oh, oh. forty piece, really? Where did they come from? That looks like a 1k uh, wood shipment. We do see the 1k wood shipment, and he's decided to go for TPs on that. Obviously, it's quite efficient to get the TPs down because he just uh, ships a load of the trading post wagons from the capital. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But we move, we move. Ah, he sees this now. He does see a lot of this now. That is unfortunate. Really could have done with getting that TC down. It's extra minute men. All that sort of juiciness. Oh, Pulaski's Legion coming in. It's not the best shipment versus what he's making. Oh, could do with getting that hero back. That is unfortunate that hero's down like that. Gurkha's coming in. Oh, it's just planting the flag down. He's found oil. Okay, we do have... Do we have another ceasefire? Okay, looks like looks like we've got another ceasefire. The The order of Vaza is now rank 3 currently. So it would... Villagers gather 75% faster. For a short period. Elephant combat coming in. You've got those 20 percenters. If you can get... Oh, yes. Just get get a couple more howders. Get a couple more howders. A beg. Ah, he didn't sell. But he's got four four discipline howders now with with the uh, buffs. Oh no 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 no! Not oh no! Oh no! The dream is dead. You could have put them on there. You, oh, no, that is so heartbreaking. After all of that, that is fucking heartbreaking. 
Hi, uh, well, that India player. Th this guy's fast becoming one of my favorite players to watch because uh, he put on a show there and that was tight. That was tight. Oh, look at this. Lost, what, three villagers there. Another two. That's five. And then went from 37 down to 28. Oh, he lost like 15 villagers in total, but still kept it close. Still kept it close. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. GG.